Hey, what is up, everybody? This is your boy, AJ Trip, And welcome to the top 10 matches that happened at the Royal Rumble. The Royal Rumble happening just this next Sunday. I decided to talk about any of the top 10 matches in the history of that event. Don't forget, tomorrow is my predictions episode. Make sure you are here for that. Click the notification bell and subscribe. To make sure that when I do post a video, you get you know, notified that you can come and see it. And also, don't forget my rapid reaction after the Royal Rumble event. Once again, subscribe and click the notification bell so that when I do go live, you can check me out. Now, from that being said, let's go ahead forward with the top 10 matches that happened at the Royal Rumble. Number 10, the Women's Royal Rumble 2018. The first ever Women's Royal Rumble is on this list because of the history that it made. And it was actually a pretty damn good Royal Rumble, too, as well. With Becky and Sasha Banks starting out at number one. Alexa Bliss, the Raw Women's Champion. Charlotte Flair, the SmackDown Women's Champion from that ringside. Um, and then all of the legends that came back for this. The Michelle McCool's, the Vicky Guerrero, the Kelly Kellys, and... All of, them, all of those good folks coming back, it, it was it was a very great sight to see. And of course, we can't forget number 30, Trish Stratus, you know, coming back as well. And and it, we, we went, came down to the Bella Twins and, and Asuka, and Bella Twins turned on each other. Asuka took advantage. She became the first winner of the Women's Royal Rumble. Um, they did the thing in the ring, and of course, we know Ronda Rousey came out. And Ronda Rousey came out at the end and pointed at the at the sign and pointed as hard as she could point. <laughs> but all in all, this was a fantastic rumble. Loved it. Loved loved what they did. And uh, yes, it's got to be on the list. Number 10, the 2018 Women's Royal Rumble match. Number 9, Yokozuna versus The Undertaker. 1994 Royal Rumble, the casket match. Now, admittedly, 1994 Royal Rumble was the first wrestling for review I ever bought is the first one that um you know is obviously the first one that I enjoy so it, it's 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 a little sentimental value in uh you know you know with the nineteen ninety four Royal Rumble. Uh all in all this is a truly awesome pay per view in my opinion. You should go and check it out. Um before, you know check it out before this Royal Rumble happens, this upcoming Royal Rumble happens. But man, this is just fantastic. I mean, Yokozuna, uh, you know, the big guy, which by the way, the icons is coming up this weekend as well on WWE Network. It'll be interesting to watch that and, and, and find out more about Big Yoko. And and then they also had the Undertaker. The Undertaker was prime, you know, you know, dead man at this point. You know, sitting up at everything, no selling a lot of stuff. Um a a a, a Darn good, you know, just, you know, as, as Jim Cornette once said, one of the best characters, if not the best character, you know, gimmick in the history of, of the business. It, fantastic. Um, and it was so good, the great story that they told. Um, and then, you know, with the 10 guys coming out to help Yoko beat The Undertaker, uh, and then Undertaker gets in the, they put him in the casket, and then they, they're walking back, you know, the gong hits, and the smoke begins to come from the casket, and and then Undertaker appears on the screen, and then he talks about, you know, living and dying or whatever. So he floats up to the arena, or to the arena roof, and apparently that was Mario Gennetti. And this, this it, it, it may sound stupid, but it's incredible. It's incredible. You have, you, you gotta want to see it. As far as number nine on the list of the top ten matches that happened at the Royal Rumble. Number eight. Triple H versus Shawn Michaels, 2004 Royal Rumble, the last man standing match. Um, yeah, this this one this one, this is a brutal one. This is not for the faint of heart. This is just this is this is this is an absolutely bloodbath that these two had. These 2004 was a year where they, uh, I, I think they, they they just went crazy on each other. <laughs> they went absolutely. Crazy on each other. I think, I think you know later on in the year they had that Hell in a Cell match that was like almost 50 minutes long. 
it's a, it's a match I had I still had not watched this you know if the it meant it might it might have been two thousand and three actually. Um it actually might have been two thousand and three. Uh, that they had that much, but who knows? But uh, I actually I don't think so. That's the thing. 2003 was well, the he was Triple H was feuding with with Diesel, uh, Kevin Nash. So it, it, there was a lot of things going on. So um, yeah, I, I but this this is this is this is a fantastic last man standing match. Uh, some people are not don't probably particularly care for it because there was no finish. It was a double down. Um, but well, that could happen at this year's uh, Royal Rumble. I don't think we're going to get the blood as we got in, in you know, 2004. I mean, there's the Triple H and Shawn Michaels was both covered in theirs and each other's. I mean, they just, they just had, it, I, I don't know if they were, I don't know if they downed a bottle full of aspirin <laughs> before the match or whatever, but it's, you know, I, I think now, if I look, well, I watched it now, looking back on it, it's, I'm probably, probably would be uncomfortable with was just how much blood both guys lost. In particular Sean. Sean has always been one to seemingly just, you know, you know, tap a vein. <laughs> you know, you know, something like that. I, it's just it's incredible. But it's a good story told. Still right in the midst of their rivalry as well. Um and yeah, and it's a it's a truly great match. Uh, number eight. 2004 Royal Rumble, Last Man Standing, Triple H, which is Shawn Michaels. Number seven, The Men's 2020 Royal Rumble. This is from last year, and it's a fantastic Royal Rumble. We we get the we get the, we get the, the, the idea that Brock Lesnar is going to start from number one, and he's going to go through the entire Royal Rumble, which at some point, which which now that they do. Those now that they do two rumbles, that should happen. Yeah, that should happen at some point, whether it's 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 one of with, 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 with one of the girls or with it's with one it's with one of the dudes. There should be a a someone starting at one, then just throwing out everybody. You know, you know, with, with with a couple of of you know underdog spots here and there, but they should go through the entire thing, not really with with no logic. And win the Royal Rumble, right? It, it should happen at some point. And they they got a lot of guys that 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 could they, they could do that with, right? They could you know they they've got Braun Strowman, they've got Keith Lee, they've got Royal, they've got um, Roman Reigns, they've got Drew McIntyre, they've got Brock Lesnar, they, you know, uh, and I'm sure there's other guys as well that they could do that with. Where it's just it's incredible. But anyway, and the women as well. Uh, Nia Jax, Shayna Baszler, Ronda Rousey, if she decides to come back, and of course they can do it with Charlotte. Uh, but yeah, this was a great one. We had we had some surprise returns from MVP and the biggest one from Edge. Of course, we had that spot where we talked about Brock Lesnar just you know just dominating the first half. Drew McIntyre comes in, he's holds his own, Ricochet comes in, he's the one that gives Brock Lesnar the low blow that allows the the Claymore to, you know, the, you know, the Claymore to a Brock Lesnar that sends, sends him out of the wrong rumble, and then from there on out, it's Drew's rumble to lose, and he doesn't lose it, he becomes, uh, he becomes the number one contender, and everything like that, it's just, it's a fantastic uh, match, and one of, one of the best ones they've ever did in recent times. And I, I loved it. Um, so, number seven, the men's 2020 Royal Rumble. Number six, Hardy's Dudley's 2000 Royal Rumble, the tables match. Oh, 2000 was such a great year, and and you know a lot of people talk about you know the tag division now where you know they don't seem to care about it or and and everything like that and. I, 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 I maybe understand that, you know, because I, I, you know, but, and they spoiled us. They spoiled us because we, in the midst of the Attitude Era, we had the Hardys, the Dudleys, the, 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 the Edge and Christian, the Too Cool, uh, the Acolytes. 
uh, others as well probably that I'm not mentioning that I'm forgetting about. But we had so this is a fantastic tag division. I think one thing that could help the tag division nowadays would be a merging of the rosters. Just get rid of this brand brand split. But that's for another video. This is about Hardys and the Dudleys. This is a fantastic match. You know, the object was to put both players through a t both opponents or the other team through a table. Um, you know, uh, and it was just incredible. And, and and of course, remember the spot where Hardy jumps off of the balcony onto uh, I believe it was Bubba Ray Dudley on the table. Uh, I think that I think that was the winning spot. Maybe I'm not sure. I can't remember. I haven't watched in a long time. There's a lot of these that I actually need to go back and watch. <laughs> I can think about it. I actually need to go back and watch a few of these. Um, you know, just to, you know, look look back on fun. But uh, still, just a fantastic, fantastic showing from, from these two guys. And they did put on an excellent show. And it was the Hardys and the Dullies. Number six is the 2000 Tables match. Number five. The 1994 Royal Rumble. Here we go again with 1994, right? But hear me out. This this one, I think this one was a good Rumble as well. Um, this one, we you know we had a great start with um, the, the the Steiner brothers, you know, both coming out at, at one and three, you know, thinking hey, you know, they can work together, and then Queen comes out and he knocks out, you know, Rick Steiner, you know, with the spray in the mist and you know, Rick Steiner is blinded, and then Diesel comes out, and Diesel just wrecks shop, and he just he takes he takes it over, and and he starts he throws out everybody, and this is the first time that I think I believe, and that uh, that 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 we had it in a match where um, we had a guy who was actually waiting for someone else to come out. Uh, I believe it. I believe that's the first time. Um, and it's Diesel, and he, every time everybody comes out, he just takes care of them, he throws them out, you know, Bob Backlund, on heart, you know, and he, and he, and he was getting babyface cheers, mostly because of that, probably from on heart, because of what on heart did earlier in the night to Bret Hart, where he kicked his leg out of his leg, and so it's, 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 it's just an incredible story they told with Diesel, and then when Diesel goes out, the, the, the still, you know, great storylines with the match, and we've got Luger, and we got Bret Hart, and it comes down to those two, uh, and they're fighting it out, and they both, you know, they both go over the top, and you didn't think Bret Hart was going to even make it because of the the horrible leg injury that he suffered, and and on Hart kicking his leg out of his leg, <laughs> and and he makes it in there, and he battles all the way to the end, and then it's a double out. Uh, and then they do the they, they do the double you know they do the winner thing and apparently the reason why they did that was they wanted to see who the fans you know who the fans would you know more 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 embrace uh, who who the fans more embrace would they embrace Luger or would they embrace Brett it was obviously it was uh, it was Brett uh, and that's why Brett went uh, Brett went with the uh, and went and won the championship uh, at WrestleMania but. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a fantastic, and I love the fact that they were able to actually get, you know, and hit both feet at the same time, and and and, and it's, a, it's a great story told. Love it. And I, I, I loved every again. I love everything about the 1994 Royal Rumble. So um, number five, the 1994 Royal Rumble match. Now we're starting to get into the five star classics. Number four, Lesnar, Cena, Rollins, 2015 Royal Rumble WWE Championship match. What can you say about it? It's incredible. We've got the the the, the dominant part timer in, in Brock Lesnar. We've got the, the you know the the legend you know in the making is John Cena, and we've got Seth Rollins, the up and comer, who's also holding the Money in the Bank contract. But we have all of these things happening, and they're putting on one hell of a show. And at some point, even Brock Lesnar gets, you know, gets out, and he puts out, and he thinks that it's going to be out. And and Cena and Rollins is going at it. And at one point, Rollins hits the Phoenix Splash, and 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 John Cena, you know, beat John Cena. But no, Brock Lesnar gets up from the beating, being, being put through a table, gets up, 
Jeff Fives, F. Rollins, and Pins, and one, two, three, retain the WWE Championship. This match is a total classic. If there's five stars in expression, you, you are going to love to watch it. If you have not seen it, it is a much watch. Go ahead and check it out. Rollins, Cena, Lesnar, from the 2015 Royal Rumble WWE Championship. Number three, Triple H, Cactus Jack, the 2000 Royal Rumble with the Street Fight. Boy, this one, this one gives you the feels, man. This one gives you that goosebumps when you're watching it. Because you know you're watching something special. You're watching something incredible. These two went out and, you know, this this is the match that made Triple H who he was. Yes, Triple H was, he was, he was a, he had already been champion at from this point twice. And he, yes, he was a down, low down, dirty heel and he and everything like that. But, you know, there was still, I think there was still some, some stuff about, you know, who he was. But, you know, this match made him and he took that and for the next 18 months until he got injured in 2001, he, he was a, just a incredible matcher and worker and um, one reason why a lot of people say he, he was the best you know you know he was best in the business at this time he's one of the best ever is because of this run you know, this 18 month run uh and it's it's incredible um uh now there was not a reign of terror and this match was incredible it, it involved it, it everything look base legit get hurt he was slip flexed on a on a bunch of wood and a piece of wood punctured his leg and he was hurt from that uh, and then there was barbed wire baseball bat and it was everything that needed to happen and it was it was incredible it was a a monumental match with some text and it, and it, Mick, Mick Foley tells the story of the fact he gets you know you know he gets uh, he, he gets a pedigree and that was supposed to end it, but he kicks out and tells Triple H to do it again, do it in the thumbtacks. And Triple H does it again, does it in the thumbtacks, and and it, 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 and, it, and he was right. Mick was right. It, it, that 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 needed to happen. It, it just made it a whole lot better. And and with even even with all that being said, you know Triple H won. Triple H was the one left, movie going out. On the stretcher, uh, so all good things, you know, must must come to an end. And when, you, when that match comes to an end, you're kind of sad. But it's a fantastic match, and it's the number three match to happen at the Royal Rumble, the street fight from 2000 between Triple H and Cactus Jack. Number two, Kurt Angle. Chris Benoit, the WWE Championship match from the 2003 Royal Rumble. Well, this is this is it's incredible. Two of the best ever to do it, and it is it is amazing what these guys put on. To anytime these two guys wrestled, it, it was it seemingly was was a classic. These guys got that great chemistry. They did great stuff. The match was. So awesome, and you know we were trying to get Chris Benoit the championship, you know, you know, and obviously he would get it a year later. But Kurt Angle was doing his thing, and he was the best, and he was the best at that time, and he deserved it. He deserved to go to Mania uh, that year, and it was incredible match. The reversals, the counters, the the, the submissions, everything about that is just incredible, and it's a match for the ages, and it's a match. But I, I can honestly say it's one of the best of all time. Um, it's one of the best in the history of the Royal Rumble event. And that's why it is here. Number two. Kurt Angle, Chris Benoit, 2003 Royal Rumble Championship. A couple I wanted to mention here um, before we get to number one. Um, the 1982 Royal Rumble. With a tear in my eye, Ric Flair, going from number three, uh, lasting all the way until the Royal Rumble. 
uh, at the end of the Royal Rumble and winning it, becoming the WWF Champion. Incredible, incredible Royal Rumble. And then, of course, the 2010 Royal Rumble. The storyline of Shawn Michaels trying to get another shot at the Undertaker's streak. And, this, and everything that happened in that Royal Rumble. Beth Phoenix, once again, being the second woman to enter a Royal Rumble. Before they had their own. Um, and, and, and Edge, you know, you know, coming in, surprise entrance after breaking his ankle and, or tearing his Achilles, one or the other, and coming back and winning it is incredible. So, um, great stuff there in the 2010 Royal Rumble and 1982 Royal Rumbles. Just barely missed making the list. But with that being said, the number one match to happen at the Royal Rumble event is John Cena versus AJ Styles. The 2017 Royal Rumble WWE Championship match. This match was number one in my top 10 John Cena matches. And it's number one in the top 10 Royal Rumble matches. And if I were to do a top 10 all time matches, I'm sure it would. I don't think it, I don't think it's going to be number one. It can't top Shawn Michaels, Taker, and WrestleMania 25. But it's so damn close. Cool. I mean, everything about this is, is perfection. It just, it just truly is. It's the fact that we got John Cena going for a a, a 16th reign as, as champion. We've got, you know, watch his face. AJ Styles is a champion trying to defend it. The fact that they don't leave the ring, you know, at all. They don't go to the floor to do any outside moves, to go them to any tables. There are no weapons. There are no anything. It is just two guys. Mano y Mano wrestling, which is fantastic, and it's such a joy to watch. Yes, there are things in there that are, that, you know, there's some of those things that you just, you know, you wish you didn't see, you know. I, 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 I think at one point, I think, I think the, I think one of, I think one of the, the at some point in the match, you know, John Cena goes, he does an AA, he rolls through, does another AA and then AJ Styles kicks out. And then, uh, no, I mean, that's that's not, you know, that that can't happen. Uh, or, or or either that happened or he 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 used to AA and he rolls through and and somehow AJ Styles blocks it, which no, it, 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 but you can look past that, like you can look past some other some, some of the flaws in the HBK Undertaker match. It was made 25 because of just the beauty of everything else that's in this match. And it's so good, so great. John Cena wins, becomes a 16-time WWE Champion. It's an incredible feat. It's a incredible feat. A wonderful match. You know, even the, the majority of the John Cena haters have to enjoy this match because for what it, it truly was. Who cares if he wants? It was a just fantastic match. Uh, and if you don't like it, you, you don't like John Cena. Point blank period. End of discussion. The number one match at the hist in, the, in the history of the Royal Rumble. John Cena versus AJ Styles. 2017 WWE Championship match Royal Rumble. And there you have it. The top 10 matches that happened at the Royal Rumble. Put your comments down below. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know what you guys think of my list. What's your top 10? What's your number 1? Let me know all down in the comment section. Make sure you go to patreon.com slash AJTrip to become a patron. Once I hit a certain amount of patrons, you will be able to have an input in what happens on this channel, in my podcast, and on my Twitch channel. So it's good fun. Once again, make sure that you hit the notification bell. I've got the Royal Rumble predictions happening tomorrow, and I got the every reaction after the Royal Rumble, so you're not gonna miss gonna miss those videos. Like the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and as always, thank you guys so much for watching. This is your boy AJ Trips signing off. As always, be good to each other, y'all. Be careful out there, and I am out.